Hello, my name is Ben, and you are watching Sunday Fun Day. We're going to be taking a look at um, an idea that I have cooked up using Native Instruments Machine. And today I just have Machine working in standalone, got a fairly CPU heavy session going and uh, just wasn't working that well within uh, the Pro Tools environment. Um, you know, just at least right now, I've got a lot going on. It's mainly this awesome toy box uh, base patch, which I'll probably show you guys throughout the course of this. But... This is an idea, and I'll slowly fade it in, and this is an idea that, um, well, actually, I've got the voice track running on here, so I can't slowly fade it in, but this is an idea that I cooked up just using my daughter's voice, and I'll just, I'll start playing it from the beginning. This is the show. That's that's the essence of it, and um, I'll start I'll start playing the arrangement of it so that you can hear the full arrangement that I kind of have right now. But essentially, I just caught her. I she <laughs> that's her. I used her phrase. I recorded it, uh, but she she calls it. Um, she's my four year old daughter. She said, uh, "You caught me singing that," and I said, "Yeah, I caught it. Yeah, that's what I do. Catch things." But um, yeah, I I had the microphone running incognito a few feet away from her face and she was just performing acapella just she just is singing and this and she does this all the time you know what i mean and so i thought it would be a fun challenge to capture a little bit of her singing and find the coolest part or few parts uh vocal flares or whatnot and make a song out of it and as soon as i heard this phrase this is the show the essence of this loop that you hear just that loop by itself that one kind of you know four bar loop um began to kind of loop itself in my head and i was like "Ooh, that'd be interesting to mess around with sort of a lo-fi track that uses maybe some hip-hop influence and just some electronic influence to uh create a song basically around this part and so that's what i did um and we'll just for now let's just play this arrangement from the beginning so you can kind of hear it
And all these parts you hear are all her voice. All these yellow parts are says sissy and sissy detune. These are all her voice. Essentially, uh, I want to just go through and uh, talk about the different parts and um, come up with uh, just some small minor taste adjustments. You know what I mean? It won't take long, you know, because I've been thinking about this for a few days. This song's been kind of replaying in my cranium and on my uh, iPhone, you know, for the last week or so. And um, essentially, I just, you know... the. Uh, the the pattern let's just dig in so the pattern right here this is the show let's play this main pattern this is the show. all right so i have the phrase this is the show I have that on one pad, and I have um, her O's, you know, uh, and the uh, I have both of those on individual pads as well. Uh, uh. And I don't have them going through too much other than some compression, some waves, um, uh, delay, and some waves, uh, R-verb. You know, which is both of these are just beautiful and creating like vocal just spacing and beautifulness. You know, so if you if you solo everything out and take take it all away. This is the show. Uh, this is the show. It's pretty basic. Uh, and then when you add the compression. This is the show. When you add the delay. This is the show. This is the show. Beautiful. And then the reverb. This is the show. Oh, this is the show. Oh. So I love it. Uh, daughter loves it. She, it gets stuck in her head too when she hears it and she gets shy about it and bashful about it because she actually likes it and I know she does. So um, what we're going to do, um, I, I, I didn't do anything to these vocals. I wanted to preserve it and leave it exactly the way it was as much as possible and i still want to do that but the timing of this is fucking with me so just listen to the pattern and listen to the timing of the phrasing and i could adjust the timing of the song and i tried that one day and i didn't i didn't feel like it worked i like this timing this feel so the tempo adjusting the tempo is off all right we're not going to do that what i want to try to do is stretch possibly the sample and see whether or not it's too fast or too slow do what. So you guys listen to it. You make a judgment call on what you would do. Would you stretch the sample faster or slower? Do you think it's a little too fast? So we would make it slower. Do you think it's a little too slow? So we'd make it faster. Just have a listen. This is the show. I'll 
I'll tell you what I think. I'll tell you what I think, and we're going to make a judgment call, and we're going to apply it, and we're going to see uh, how it feels, uh, essentially. But <clears throat> we're going tricky style. I'm not using math. I'm not using, oh, we'll fucking adjust this word by uh, this amount of beats and clicks, and it'll fucking land right in the right spot. We're not going to do any of that math crazy stuff. We're going to use a tricky, does it feel right? Does it feel like it works in the song, in the part? You know, that sort of a deal and uh, go from there. So to start with, this is a really important uh, phrase. So this is the show. This is the show. It's the name of the song. It's the, you know, so I think those need to be on beat. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by, I'm going to go ahead and just as a feel adjuster, this has nothing to do with her phrase or the words that she said. I'm just going to take these notes that I played and I'm going to quantize them. Boom. Um, oh, actually, nope. I need to turn the grid on and then I need to quantize. So turn on the grid and then quantize and then I'm going to stretch this and I'm going to actually quantize it as well. Just the end of it. I don't think it really matters, but um, just in case... All right, and I'll leave that the way it is, but these phrases need to be quantized. Let's listen to how this sounds and make sure we didn't make any crazy adjustments to the feel. I don't believe we did, but let's have a listen. No, that works. Uh, as an eight bar pattern, actually, it works. Uh, it actually improved by a little bit, I think, the feel of it. It's still okay. So, what's your judgment call? Is it too fast or too slow? Do, 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 do. I'll tell you my judgment call. I think it's too fast. So, I'm going to have a listen. I think we need to stretch it, make it a touch slower to improve the feel of it. Okay. So, that's what we're going to try and do here in a minute. But have a listen right now. Let me know if you agree. Yeah, I'm telling you, I think it's a little fast, and I see these are a little fast as well. I'm going to undo, I, I want to keep the, preserve the feel of it a little bit, but I'm just going to nudge them just a touch to make them a little more. Okay, so now we know, okay, with the feel of these just adjusted by a little bit, and these corrected that the feel of the the um, pattern should hopefully be preserved, but the notes are being triggered precisely at the right time when they should be. That sounds good to me. So, all right, still a little fast. Now we're going to get to the business of today, which is we're going to stretch the sample by just a touch. And I want to preserve the feel of her timing and her tonality and all those kinds of things. So I just, I did a little bit of research on this and we're going to open up a sample editor. Sorry, not on this, on this. And we're going to look at stretch. And uh, we're going to open this up. And Formant C, I believe from the videos that I've seen and everything that I've kind of read so far about it, this keeps the tuning of whatever you're trying to stretch preserved. And so oftentimes when you stretch a sample backward or forward, say if you stretch it, make it tighter, You'll make it sound like a chipmunk. The pitch will also rise at a commensurate rate at the you know rate that you kind of shrunk the size of the sample. And so I don't want to do that. I want the pitch of where she's singing. I want all that to be preserved. And so I want to turn on the formant correction 
if I'm even saying that right or if that's the right name for this feature, because that keeps the pitch of her sample or, you know, her voice in this case preserved. Um, it's detecting a source BPM, I think. That's where that comes from. I'm not 100% sure, but I'll do some more research and try and find out. But at any rate, it's not really 100, and it's not like the, the beat is running at 114. So this matters not as much because I know what I want to do it. Okay, if this is detecting at 100, then what I want to do is I want to slow it down. That means it can't be above 100. It's actually going to be a touch below. And I don't want to slow it down by that much because it kind of makes an irrevocable change. But what I want to do is I essentially want to, you know, the length of this being one bar, you know, um, I want to slow it down by a touch and see if it improves the feel. So I'm going to start the loop. This is the show. Now, it says source BPM is 100. I set new BPM to 98. Let's apply and see where we land here. I think it's damn close, but I, I also think it's still a touch too fast, and I could be wrong. This is all subjective, really, at this point. It's just like, does it bother you? Does it not bother you? It bothers me right now so much less than it did, and I think I'm going to do one more apply and see if it goes just a touch slower and improves the feel by just that much more or if I royally screw it up. So let's see. One more apply. Boom. And let's see where we land. I think that's it. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's I think that's it. I don't think it's gonna get any better than that. I think it's beautiful. It's already a beautiful uh, sounding voice uh, of my daughter, and I'm I'm gonna use every opportunity to uh, uh, record her voice as much as possible, just as a father, music producer, a very proud moment for myself. It's the first song that features my daughter's voice, uh, unbeknownst to her, and she's heard it. No, I mean, she knows about it, but, uh, you know, does she know I'm showing it to the world? No, not so much, but, <laughs> but uh, here it is, and uh, let's check out the, um, you know, as we, as we break away here, uh, let's go ahead and check out the full arrangement. Let's make sure do i want to make any more feel adjustments i thought there was one other thing um yeah there was there was another so let's look at another pattern um and this pattern is going to be what pattern is that it's a pattern by the name of k something nope ak break here it is. So start this loop. All right, so awesome uh, detuned vocal.
let's see here. This is uh, this pad. Um, I think that's it. So let's go ahead and save this guy. And go ahead and get out of here. Until next time.